that team started swag. Mm -hmm. And I never thought about that because I never thought about swag. I just thought we had, we wore black uniforms because black wasn't the color, it was an attitude. Right. Well, that attitude got to the swag, and I think Atlanta loved the swag of the way they played. Uh, you know, we didn't throw a frickin' four-yard route. And <laughs> right, we, right, didn't, right. we didn't go three plays without a blitz. Right. And, and so it, it wasn't what people watch today. Today, it's like mm -hmm. going to a Baptist sermon. Nothing's <laughs> happening, you know? Uh, we were on fire. Yeah, all, you know, the time. all the I'll time. You, I think he's right with the swag thing. I mean, the city was on the rise with the music industry. It's starting to get big. Uh, the Braves had just won their... Uh, yeah they had just started becoming the Braves that they are now. And, you know, everything was missing but the football team. And then, right. uh, like he said, when that swag started, it started hitting us in, 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 in the media, and then it poured onto the field. Right. And, I mean, we had Dion Primetime. We had Showtime and Andre Rising with Jerry Glanville, who was a big character of himself. <laughs> and, I mean, it just poured into it. And then, and then we were winning games. Right. I mean, you win games, the media going to follow, especially with all the other stuff that's going on around right. us. I think, yeah, it was, sure. I think it was all-inclusive, right. too, with all right. different sort, different right. walks of life. Everybody could identify with, with the Falcons, what we were doing. It was new. It was fresh. It didn't Attitude. matter if you were West Coast, redneck country person or whatever. I mean, everybody could, could identify with different walks of life, and it made it so unique. And everybody had fun. You see on these videos, everybody's rocking, and you don't see that all the time in NFL. Games.